All right, welcome back. Uh, this time we're going to be moving to the next section of our blocks, and that is uh, the layout block. Um, <clears throat> the biggest and the newest uh, layout uh, block that I really appreciate is the group block. Now, the group block, uh, in essence, has it's uh, it has advanced. You can add maybe um, an HTML anchor. You say this group block is called maybe sync uh, group. So that will be the anchor for our our HTML. So what we do is I'm going to just update this and show you where exactly that goes. And I'm going to go to the front end of our page and just scroll down. And so I'll quickly look at, I'm going to inspect this. So if you look down here in the code that I'm having, our page now has a new ID called sync group, okay? Now, if I went back and just remove this, I'll just cut it away and update, then reload. You'll see that if we try to inspect this location itself, we no longer have the ID inset. Uh, it's no longer part of it. It's a way that we can use uh, our anchor tags. Uh, that is, we can use links to direct people to this exact page and into this exact location if we gave them uh, the, the, the anchor link of a sync group. So that's the beauty with this group. So you can use it to link uh, different things. However, this group can also go full width and it can also just stay wide width, spanning across the width of your website. Now, the, uh, this group uh, block uh, was made so that you can group different things together. So we have our group block here. Now, the group block was meant to, to house a number of uh, blocks. For example, I'm going to just drag this block of our verse and then I'll drop it inside uh, our group block. So, so you realize that we have it already grouped in here. So I can also decide to bring this table and just add it as part of the group. So if you look at this, we have our group, our group block just here. It has a, a verse and it has the table, which is individual in nature and can still have its uh, different pieces fixed all together, like its different properties are still intact. The same with uh, this other block. So I'm also just going to move this other block, uh, our pull quote, and I'll just group it in here. So essentially we, we have our group block handling all the different information uh, together. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to move those and get them well, uh, but you keep going at it. So I'm going to reload this here and I'm going to show you what it is about. Right now you cannot see so much of a difference uh, of what's going on, but you'll find that this group, if you look as I'm highlighting over the, the ID sync group, you'll see that the different items, the verse, the pull quote, and the table are all highlighted in blue, meaning that they are grouped together. So if I go levels in here, you'll see we have the pull quote, we have the table, and we have the verse. Uh, inside our group our group block so this helps uh, just grouping things together and having them nested and then you can maybe uh, look them up with your html and your css